Hello everybody, it's Anubis Lives. In today's video, we're gonna be covering what are the best webcams for VTubing? Whether we're looking for a webcam for VC face or webcam for Luppet, all these options I'm about to show you are gonna work for pretty much all of them. Let's check out some best options for us, maybe not so best options for us, and what's actually really required for VTubing. On this YouTube channel, I upload every Wednesday, 12 p.m. PST, and here we cover things like how to use Luppet, how to use VC face, and well, how to be a VTuber with some streaming tips and tricks mixed into it. So if you can, smash that like button, leave a comment down below ideas for future videos or what you thought of this one. We have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you feel you like this content, please smash that subscribe button. And well, let's get into it. So first thing that we should dive into Programs like Luppet and VC Face, does 30 frame per second webcams matter versus 60 frames per second? Let's check that out first. So as you can see here, we're using the Logitech C920, a webcam that has been around for almost 10 years now with our resolution at 1280 by 720. And well, this camera is not really capable of 60 frames per second, it's more of 30 frames. So let's see, we're moving left and right. We're still talking. Our hands are flailing around. Yeah, it doesn't seem like much of a difference right now. So let's switch to our GoPro Hero 4. All right, so let's go with settings, general. Let's switch this to our HD60S, which is our GoPro. Let's reset our position. And well, Moving left and right, back and forth, everything's still detecting the same, even smiling. Not much of a difference with a 60 FPS webcam. Okay, so now let's do another test where we purposely frame cap ourselves to 30 FPS. So we're gonna go back to general. Let's change our frame rate cap to 30. Let's hit okay. And well, Again, we're moving around back and forth, left and right. It's not really a huge difference that I think we're seeing right now. Now you're wondering to yourself, what are the best webcams for eye tracking and things like that? Well, honestly, any kind of webcam is pretty decent at eye tracking. The only problem you might run into is with glasses. If you take off your glasses, it will definitely track a lot better than if you have glasses on. But if you need glasses to see, Definitely just leave them on. It's a, obviously a must, but at the end of the day, eye tracking, any webcam can really actually handle that. All right, so now that we know that really different webcams doesn't make a huge difference, what does make a huge difference? Well, lighting. Believe it or not, yes, you still need to have some decent lighting for the webcam to properly track your face and properly track your facial features and emotions and all that fun jazz. For lighting, I suggest something like this, a ring light where you can attach your webcam onto it as well. It's very, very simple and very, very easy to use. So it's something I definitely suggest that you consider to get. A link to that particular ring light is actually down below. Now some things to consider when you're trying to pick out a webcam to use. Something like a Logitech C920 or even uh, a, another older model all you need just is, is, is a USB port. That's it, a USB port, you plug in and it's ready to go. Where something like a GoPro Hero 4 or a DSLR camera or anything around those lines, you're gonna need some sort of capture card and that will actually bring up the cost significantly. So as we can see, some of these Elgato capture cards are just crazy expensive. We do have other cheaper capture cards. These are more of buyer beware, try if you really, really want to try. Other than that, I'd probably steer clear, but that's totally up to you. Let's go through some good choices for cheap webcams that you could use. Pretty much any of these webcams that you see on this page is, is a decent choice. They're all roughly within a decent price point with 30 to some advertised 60 FPS, but really, I'd say go for like one of the cheaper ones and test it out, see if you like it. And if it really doesn't work at the end of the day, you could always just return it. But wait, you're like Anubis, Anubis, Anubis. I can't afford a webcam. I don't have the money for it. Well, what if we just use our phone? 
programs like Luppet and VC Face can actually use something like Epoch Cam. It's an application that you install on your iPhone device. Currently, it doesn't work on Android, but there are some Android alternatives out there. But with Epoch Cam, you just download the software onto your phone and onto your computer and will basically stream straight to it. It's amazing. It's great wireless technology that you could use for your VTubing needs. So like I said prior, there are alternatives for Android. I would suggest that you just, you know, install and test it a little bit. See what works, see what doesn't, but you got a free webcam in your pocket. Why not use it? Leave a comment down below with the type of webcam that you use for your streams. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. PST. So come on by. Let's talk about gaming, anime, VTubing, YouTube, whatever. And well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.